Hey everyone, welcome back. If you enjoy watching recently exiled, whiny, butthurt Democrats lie to your face and the ensuing brain damage, well then stick around because I've got a heaping embolism inducing dose of it from CNN. For the last seven days, the whiny pee pants Democrat media have been losing their minds over former House Democrats Adam Schiff, Elon Omar, and Eric Swalwell being booted from the Intelligence Committee for what seemed like totally legitimate reasons, but not for the bootlicking DNC media. Kevin McCarthy sort of had to throw Adam Schiff on the fire along with Eric Swalwell. That yeah. hurts our national security. These smears are bringing death threats. He continues to do it, which makes us believe that there's an intent behind it. I think he'll regret giving all three of us more time on our hands. Weird, that sounded like a threat. Going out, doing with retribution, doing to a member something you perceived as being unfair to one of your members when everybody knows there was just cause for those people being removed from their committee. Look, Gosar and Marjorie Taylor Greene were kicked off of committees in 2021 because they support terrorism. Excuse me, why? There is no legitimate reason to keep Schiff or Swalwell off the Intelligence Committee. What did Adam Schiff do as the chairman of the Intel Committee? What Adam Schiff did, use his power as a chairman and lie to the American public. Even the Inspector General said it. When Devin Nunes put out a memo, he said it was false. When we had a laptop, he used it before an election to be politics and say that it was false and said it was the Russians. When he knew different, when he knew the intel, if you talk to um, John Radcliffe, DNI, he came out ahead of time and says there's no intel to prove that and he used his position as chairman, knowing he has information the rest of America does not and lied to the American public. When a whistleblower came forward, he said he, he did not know the individual even though his staff had met with him and set it up. So no, he does not have a right to sit on that. That brings us to Sunday afternoon, where CNN surprisingly brings up all of these issues in what should be a total train wreck of an interview for these three stooges. And we'll get right to that after this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class of 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. If 2022 taught us anything, it's that tangible assets are the only asset you can count on, like gold. Gold prices could even surge to $4,000 an ounce in 2023. So what are you waiting for? Open a gold or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold and their thousands of five-star reviews. So call 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And Remember, there's always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. Taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. What the hell was that? Oh, that was a total mistake. My bad. Hi, Congressman, you were also removed uh, by Republicans from the Intelligence Committee. What the speaker said about you is that beginning in 2012, a suspected Chinese spy developed ties to you and to your office, even put an intern uh, there, raised campaign funds for you. You say very clearly you cut off ties with this person back in 2015 when you found out you cooperated with the FBI. But the bottom line question is this. Did you put yourself in a vulnerable position? Absolutely not. Uh, but Dana, don't take my word for it. Take the FBI's word for it. They never talk about ongoing investigations. And, and former Chairman Schiff knows this as a member of the Gang of Eight. Three different times they came out and said two things. All I did was help them. And also, I was never under any suspicion of wrongdoing. Um, excuse me. Uh, what the did you just say you're not a national security threat you slept with a ccp spy that you then brought into the dnc as a bundler what's a bundler well according to npr bundlers organize and collect campaign contributions from other donors the checks are often delivered to the campaign in a bundle hence the name sometimes bundlers are called razors eric swalwell was so stupid that a ccp spy was able to manipulate him into getting her a job at the DNC raising money for Democrats 
a CCP spy raised money for the Democrat Party, thanks to Eric Swalwell. So when you apologized uh, for the all about the Benjamins <clears throat> comment, you said anti-Semitism is real. And I'm grateful for Jewish allies and colleagues who are educating me on the painful history of anti-Semitic tropes. Um, I certainly did not or was not aware that the word hypnotize uh, was a trope. Oh, come on! Um, I wasn't aware um, of, of the fact that there are tropes about Jews and money. I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> Seriously? I didn't know I couldn't do that? She actually used that? Side note here, have you ever noticed how similar anti-Semitic tropes are to the omnipresent white supremacist threat that seems to be the cause of everyone else's problems in the world? You can take anything, sexism, racism, misogyny, homophobia, whatever, the war, and if you really get into it and study it and learn about it and the history of it and the, everything's connected. There'd be no climate crisis if it wasn't for racism. <laughs> or blaming white supremacy for horrendous actions of all black cops. Seems pretty similar to a backwoods Klansman blaming the Jews for all of his problems. Am I crazy here? Yes. As part of, the, uh, of a pattern ahead of the first Trump impeachment, you said the committee had not spoken to a whistleblower. In fact, that turned out not to be true. You know, the Washington Post uh, said so in their, in their fact check. Uh, the Washington Post uh, uh, identified that, yes, before the person became a whistleblower, they sought advice from the committee. Uh, when I was asked the question, I thought they were referring to whether we had brought the whistleblower in. Uh, and I should have been more clear in my answer. But, but, but again, let's be clear what's really going on here. It's all lies, but they're entertaining lies. And in the end, isn't that the real truth? The answer is no. Should have been more clear. Even the pro-Democrat Washington Post says Adam Schiff is a liar. So what's going on here is gaslighting. All right, folks, that's it for that one. I'm glad to be back. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment and always check back at 8 a.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Eastern for new content. Also, make sure to check out my new Discord server, which you can find the link for in the description or pinned comment. Thanks a lot. <laughs>